Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new today I'm gonna do something between a jewelry haul and a collection video because I've gotten a lot of things in the past few months from a brand called Alchemy England for those of you who are not familiar with Alchemy it's the brand of jewelry that I almost always use I get a lot of questions on all my videos about where I get my jewelry and necklaces from and most of the time it's from them, like this for example, or all the rings that I'm wearing. Some of the pieces that I'm gonna show you today have been in my collection for more than 15 years. Disclaimer, some of them were gifted by the brand and some were bought by me, but it is my favorite brand. It has been my favorite brand for a very, very long time and I'm sure you're gonna love everything you're gonna see today. I'm also gonna include some decor items. I don't have that much from them, but I still wanna show you. I think it's gonna be better if I start with the newest things I have because there's a higher chance that you will be able to find them. So let's start with the newest things. This necklace is called Lunatia or something like that. I really don't know how to pronounce that. It's one of their latest big necklaces that they released. It's a huge bat with a mirror in the middle and it's definitely one of my favorites because I collect bat necklaces if you haven't noticed. By the way, this is where they sent their items because I have so many of these. I keep them in their original bag so they don't get damaged and they all have the name here so I can find the one I want easily. This one is called Reflections of Poe and it is this beautiful crow with a skull and a mirror and this is what it looked like on you can see the size comparison between this one and the bat the bat is huge if i'm going out or dressing up i would always pick something really big but this would be more like an everyday piece and i think it's really beautiful the next one is called somber desire and it's this beautiful tiny black bat with a red heart again you can see it next to the other one it's very small but the cute thing about the smallest ones is that you can do something like this i mean it doesn't look good because i'm wearing a wig but if i wasn't and i wasn't wearing bands it looks really cute if you hold it here with bobby pins and wear it as a tiny tiara or crown and i think it looks really amazing and spices up looks a lot you can also pair it with another one. I think it's really cute. As I said, I collect bath necklaces, so this one is something that I really, really like. Next one in the category of necklaces that I think are still in stock is this one. It is a cat with a mirror on the back. It is called Sacred Cat Vanitas, and I have a mirror exactly like this, but in black. You can wear this one as long or as short as you want. It looks good either way and although it's not as big as the things I usually go for, it still looks really cool. And here it is next to the bat, so you can see the size comparison. Even if it's not too big, it's still quite long, so it's still very noticeable. Another one I got recently, and I'm not sure if it's still going to be in stock because it's an old piece, is the Blood Moon, and it looks like this. It is a red moon with a lot of bats around it and I think it looks stunning. This one has been in their collection since forever but I really hope it's not discontinued because it looks really stunning. Before I continue showing you more things from them, I wanted to tell you that they have distributors all over the world so if you want to get something from them, I would recommend checking your local ones because then you can don't have to pay shipping and possibly customs if you don't live in the UK. I know in my city, and I live in a very small city in Spain, there are a couple, so it shouldn't be difficult to find them. Next we have the black frost effects, and it looks like this. Now this is not extremely big, but it's still one of my favorites. I really like everything they do with roses. The thing is that since they look more or less similar, and they have a ton of things with roses. You can always combine them. As you can see, this ring looks perfect with this. And that way, if you happen to have a matching thing from a different collection, you can only buy, like, let's say, a new necklace and you have a full set. And by the way, their crystals are Swarovski, so it makes it a little bit pricey, but they're not super expensive. And I can tell you that these things will last for a lifetime because I have I have a couple of necklaces for like 15 years and they look totally new. I know there are some copies in AliExpress and similar stores, but if you want something that's gonna last for a long time, I recommend going for the original ones. I mean, they're pricey but not super expensive and the quality is 
totally different from any copies. Now we have something a little bit different, this is the Blood Heart Choker. It is quite small and it ties with these ribbons that you can of course make as long or as short as you want. Since this is very small, I think it looks better as a choker, but you can always wear it longer, more like a necklace. And again, this is one of those pieces that look stunning. Like here. The next one is something I've already shown you here a couple of years ago, but I checked the other day and it was still in stock. It is the Ankh of the Dead and it is one of my favorite pieces from them. Why? Because this is a replica of the one that Bowie and Catherine Deneuve used in the film The Hunger, which is one of my favorite films because obviously I'm obsessed with vampires as you can probably tell. And <laughs> I I think it's really cute that you can open it and it's a dagger. And if you've watched the movie, you probably, you'll probably love this as well. If you look closely, it has some Egyptian hieroglyphics on the front and their logo on the back. And finally in this section, we have La Nuit Pendant. Somehow I took out the chain and now I cannot put it in without pliers, but you're gonna have to get an idea just like this. It's a very very cute and tiny little bat with a Swarovski crystal on the bottom, it's a clear crystal. I don't have a lot of clear crystals but I think it looks really cute. Another one I got quite recently is the large Baphomet. I really like this one although I haven't really had much of a chance to use it because it's a little bit different from my usual style but I really like it and I finally found the perfect outfit for this I took some photos but I don't have close-ups so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the necklace that well I will insert it somewhere here so you can see how well it looks with that outfit the next one is one of my favorites you've seen it a lot because I wear it quite often and I've had it for like a year or so but I've never talked about it and you've asked me a lot so here it is, this is the Bacchanal Rose necklace and you can see that their big ones come in this kind of transparent black bag then a plastic one and then this like velvety cardboard I like to keep all of that because I think it keeps them protected and since I store them in boxes it is really really convenient so this is what it looks like I have the matching earrings and a couple of rings that match this as well there's one of those that is specifically made for this necklace but there are others like this that also go very well together with it and maybe I should show you the full set now this is the Bacchanal Rose ring and here I have the matching earrings I really don't know if you can see them that well from a distance but they're incredibly beautiful and back to the necklace because I'm not sure if you saw it that well it has a ton of roses, some grapes, some tiny crystals in here and a big clear one at the bottom the next one is an old design I didn't get it as long ago but I know it's been in their web for a very long time this one is the Blood Rose Heart You've seen it here because I use it all the time, it's one of my favorite things from them. It's a very beautiful blood heart with a red crystal at the bottom, a black rose and silver roses all over. Since this is a bit of an older design, I don't have the exact earrings that match it, but I have some with roses that go very well together. These are the Wounded Love Ear Stats and when it comes to rings, like anything that has roses in them that is from them is gonna go perfectly together for the next one I'm gonna show you two at the same time because it is the same but one in green and one in black this one is the queen of the night necklace and it is stunning I really love it and I don't have any matching earrings so I don't have a full set but actually anything from them is gonna look great with this so this is the black one and this is the green one. This one was actually a gift from my best friend and I've had it for a very long time and it's still one of my favorites. Next is the Regis Martiris. It is super cute and the color is totally different from most of my jewelry. It's like a purple magenta color. And now the earrings that have the same name look like this. And this would be the full set together. I think the next one is the last of the big ones, which are my favorite. It is here and it's called Mon Amour de Suisse. 
I know I've showed you this one before, but here it is again. It doesn't have matching earrings or perfectly matching ones, but I have something that looks really good together. I hope you can see them well. These are the black sole earrings and here in my finger is the black sole ring. I know they're not exactly the same, but they have the same black heart. So I tend to wear these together. Although I tend to avoid this ring when I wear wigs because it gets stuck in the hair and it's not the best thing. But when I have my natural hair, it's not a problem at all. The next necklace is one of my favorites. I have it for quite some time and I think it's not in stock anymore. It is the Viennese Knights necklace and it is this big beautiful bat with a grey crystal and these tiny ones here. I have the matching studs but I don't have matching long earrings but I have something that's very similar that looks really great together and I cannot find right now so I will have to show you later. These are the matching studs. I'm not sure if you can see them that well here but I will try my best to show you. Here we have another proof of my bad obsession. This is the Villa Diodati necklace. I know I showed you in another alchemy haul I did a couple of years ago but I don't think you remember. So, Since some of these are quite old I'm gonna go over them a little bit faster so you don't get too bored of this. This is the Phantom necklace and obviously I love it because it's bad and it's also really beautiful. This is the Rose Briar Choker and it is really really amazing and big. This is the Gothic Ang. When I was a teen I used to have the black version and now I have the red one and I love it. This next one is called Elvira's Trist and I got it when I was 15 I think. It's one of my favorite necklaces ever and I always use it when I go to conferences or places like that. This is Morticia and I love it. I think after bats Spiders are probably my favorite theme for jewelry. I also have some chokers from them. This is the Wounded Love and I've just realized that you're seeing the back side of the heart. This next one is called Arachnathia and I think it is the first thing I ever got from them. So it has a lot of sentimental value. This is the Osborne Cross. It is very simple but classy and beautiful and the skull gives it an extra spicy touch. And finally, this is the last one. It is called Passio Wings of Love. And although it's not really my style, it's one of the first things I got gifted from them. So I like it a lot. I just got a little bit closer to see the rings that I'm wearing better. Because you probably won't see them from distance. And I'm going to start with the new ones that I know are still in stock. By the way, these are my favorite ones because their smallest size is a size L and ring size. I don't really know what's the equivalent between American and UK ring sizes but their smallest is an L which is a little bit big for me. So now they've released these adjustable rings and it works a lot better for me because I can make them suit this finger otherwise they kept falling. So this one is called Night with Goethe and I really really love it because of course it's bat wings and I'm obsessed with bats. So one of my favorites and since it's adjustable it just fits every finger. The rose one I'm wearing here is called Wild Black Rose and again it is adjustable so no problem using it anywhere I want. I can find the back for this one, it's on my table somewhere but it is also one of the adjustable ones. It is to sculpt hands and although it's smaller I like to wear rings all over my hands so it's Cool to have smaller ones in between the big ones. Their adjustable rings, as I said, are my favorite thing because they actually fit me. So please release more adjustable rings. Since we're talking about rings, I'm gonna talk about the other ones that I'm wearing, although I'm not sure if they're still in stock. This one is the Emerald Venom, which is my favorite ring from them. I love it, but I wish they had also a clear or black version so I could combine it with like red looks because I would like to wear it all the time and sometimes green doesn't match other things I wear. But it's just perfect. It is huge, just like I like it. I have the full set that I think I've shown you before, but maybe I should show you now as well. This is the Emerald Venom necklace, which is wow, one of my favorites. I really like it. I hope you're not afraid of spiders. I mean, it's not super realistic as a photo, but I know it still gives some people the creeps because yeah, it's not the most cartoonish spider either. 
has a green rhinestone it's again Swarovski and then a black crystal and here are the matching earrings again not sure if any of this is in stock but one of my favorite sets and here you can see everything together I really love it and maybe you can find it somewhere else if it's not on stock in the web here we have the RIP rose ring and the matching earrings and I'm wearing it next to the Fledermauser ring which is really old and one of the first things I got from them next we have the triple goddess ring which I got quite recently actually and probably it's still in stock and next to it the cherries ring which is the one with the rose and the heart and finally we have the Elizabethan ring and later I will show you the matching bangle because I also have it and the Arnia Jetstone which is also one of the first things I got from them because I got it to match the choker I showed you before moving on to wristbands and bangles and all this stuff I want to show you this one first I hope you can see it well I don't remember the name but I think it was something about Baudelaire La Fleur de Baudelaire or something like that I'm not totally sure though, but I really love it. It's probably my favorite from them. And it's adjustable, as you can probably see. So I don't have any problems with it. The next one is the Elizabethan bangle. And although this one is adjustable, it is one size and that size is too big for me. It is super cute. I have both the red and the pink versions. And I love it, but I cannot really wear it because it's extremely big on me. But if you take a look at the details and everything, it is just stunning. And here is the pink one that matches my room a lot better. But I don't wear that much pink. I still love it a lot and really wish it was smaller. My mom has borrowed it quite a few times. She's not goth, but she likes some of these things. The next one is totally different from my usual style. It is this bat wristband. I love it obviously because it's a bat. It is called Desmodos wrist strap and the other reason why I love it is because it reminds me of Gerard Way's bat belt and I think it's so cute. I wish I had a bat belt like that although I don't wear belts at all but it would look really cool like as a waist belt. And finally we have the skull and briar um, rose bracelet and this one is again adjustable with this ribbon here and it fits me perfectly. I love it and I use it quite a lot. And now to finish with jewelry, we have the Cosmer back head studs. And they are these tiny back heads. They're super cute but not really sure if you can see them. Anyway, I don't usually wear small earrings like this. But since I have like a lot of piercings in my ears, I like to wear them on the second or third one. So they look really good as like tiny studs paired with long earrings. Here you can take a closer look at the Cauchemore back head studs and the Viennese night ear studs. I love them but I always pair them with something else because they are tiny. These ones are called Passionette and they are my favorite earrings. Ever. I use them quite a lot, maybe I shouldn't use them as much, but I just love them. Here we have the Marie Antoinette earrings and the vibe again is similar to the previous ones, I just love a lot. These ones are called Imperian Tear Droppers and although they're small and not super flashy, I think they go well with everything I have from them, so I use them a lot as well. Here we have two very old ones, the bat one is called Batteries and the spider one is called Nidus Calf Stud. These next ones are the Ankh of Osiris and I love them but they are the smaller version of something I like even more. Which is the Crystal Ankh. I used to have a pair although they are sold separately but I lost one unfortunately and they no longer sell them. And finally, here we have the Wings of Eternity. I also have another pair of earrings from them, which is called Lob Bats, but I couldn't find them. So I can only show you a photo. Now we're moving on to the core. I don't have so many things in this category, so I'm going to show you everything I have from them. Uh, the first one, which is my favorite piece, is this and Mirror. I don't remember the exact name, but as usual, I will either write it on screen or in the description box below. I always include all the info. So if there's anything you want to know, 
suck those places because it's usually there, otherwise they ask me because I always try to reply. Anyway, this fantastic Ankh mirror is the most pantheric thing ever. I'm not sure if it's still in stock because I've had it for a few years. It looks like this on the back and then this is the front. The mirror part is quite small but it's more of a decor thing than an actual mirror, although I've used it for <laughs> doing my makeup or checking my eyelashes a couple of times. It has this beautiful rose that again goes well with all their rose items. I love that. And it is like silver with some like details in here. This is one of my favorite things, like one of the best props for photos. And you've probably seen it quite a few times if you're following me on Instagram. I have another mirror from them and it is black this time, although this one is also available in silver. This is the Sacred Cat Vanitas, just like the necklace I showed you before. And it's this stunning and intricate cat with lots of decorations all over. And it has this mirror on the back. Maybe this one is a little bigger, I'm not really sure. But probably because of the shape it's a little bit easier to use it for your makeup. But I try not to use it too much because I don't trust myself with delicate things and I really don't want to drop it. Anyway, it's super beautiful and I love it. Moving on to one of my favorite things from them, we have this glass. It's called Villa Diodati, I think. Or at least that's what the matching necklace is called. It's supposed to be a beer glass, but I don't drink beer and I usually fill it with anything red that resembles blood. And it looks really good. This is again one of the best props for photos and I don't use it like a regular glass because I know myself and I know it's gonna end up being destroyed and I really don't want that to happen. But I wish I could drink from this all the time because it looks so cool. In the same category we have a couple of mugs. This is the mug and spoon set. This is the bad brew and I also have the perfect brew here. They are super cute and I'm afraid to drop them, so I will move the camera somewhere closer to the floor and then I will open them because otherwise this could be a disaster. I also have this tea for one teapot mug set and it is super cute but I already did an unboxing and again I'm scared of dropping this so I will insert that video so you can see it properly and I'm not sure if it has a lot of... Yeah, it has like a lot of bubbles, so you might not be able to see it that well, but I really like it. It's the perfect uh, brew again, and yeah, you will see it in the other video because I don't want to drop it. I also have the perfect brew in this design, which is super cute because it's black. I wish the mugs were also black, but I like them either way. It goes like this, and you can also take out the lid. And finally we have the Skull Drinking Jar, which I really love. I have used this one quite a few times. It comes with this plastic straw, but it's reusable. And this black seal. And it looks super cute. The good thing about it being transparent is that you can play with the content. So if you fill it again with anything red, it's gonna look really cool. But if you find something green, it's gonna look really alien-esque as well. And that's also really nice. By the way, this one is glass and not plastic, so that's why it's a little bit more expensive than some other similar options, but I love it. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite decor items from them. And it is the Heart of Otranto, like the Castle of Otranto. I have to keep it here because I have cats and they don't like it or maybe they like it a lot, but I really don't like seeing them next to it. Okay. What do you think? I just changed the light because I want you to see this properly. It's amazing. It has so many details and it's so, so beautiful. And then it has this velvety material on the bottom so it doesn't like move around if you leave it on the table. It has lots of roses and lots of details. Super cute. It's not very heavy but it is a little bit heavy. And it is perfect to leave it on your table and leave your jewelry inside or take photos of rings and things like that. I really love it but I have to keep it 
locked away from my cats. They also have a lot of candles. This is one of the red ones. They smell amazing. I keep it on my table and I can smell it like the room smells a little bit like this. It is really cool and really like a really powerful scent. I've never really used that because again cats and candles don't work well together and I don't want to set my house on fire but even if it's not lit it really smells super good. They also have black ones. The scent is different but I also like it although I have to say I prefer this scent of the red ones but black goes really well with my room and it looks just perfect. My room is pink so the red one I have it on my table honestly. I know it doesn't match the vibe of this room but I like it so much and the scent is amazing. This one matches better but since it's taller I'm afraid of something happening so I keep it in one of my closets. And to finish with the decor I'm gonna show you the hanging decorations. This is the coffin one. I don't know if you can see it properly. It makes this tingling sound that I'm not a big fan of but I can fix that easily if I just stick it with scotch tape or something. But I know people usually like this, it's a personal thing. Anyway, I'm not sure if you can see it properly. Maybe like this is much better. If you follow me on Instagram, if you've seen my shoe videos or my outfit videos, this is always on the background and I always forget to tag them and everyone is always asking me where I got those things from. So they're from Alchemy, they're quite affordable, so I would strongly recommend getting some of these. I have several more of this, like this spider one the bad one and the witchy one that I don't remember what it's called on the web but I will probably look it up and I also have a cat one that I don't know where I placed but if I can find it I will definitely insert it here in this video. That was it for this video, I really hope you liked it if you made it this far. I don't know what to do for my next one so please let me know what you'd like to see in this channel. I can do like a handbag collection, I also have some stuff from Brustyle and some stuff from lip service that I don't think you have seen here but I've taken photos of it so they're on Instagram if you want to follow me there I've also gotten a lot of makeup tutorial requests but my skin is not really doing well lately because I haven't been sleeping that well so I'm waiting until that is fixed for the makeup tutorials, I'm sorry about that I will probably do my vampy signature look that I always do which is neutrals on top and lots of red at the bottom this is probably the one I've gotten the most requests for, so I'll probably go with it. But let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm getting close to 10k, so please subscribe because it would make me really happy to get there. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!